Hello, everybody. This is El Corta, and I'm here to show you that I love to have fun with food. I like to put food on a plate and make it look like a face. And I was inspired by these pictures. I think this I got out of a magazine about five years ago, and I just loved it. So sometimes my kids and I have fun making food art. Look at that. Look at her eyes. They're oranges. And I think she's got some purple carrots for her, for her uh, other part of her eye, the iris and the pupil. And then her nose is salmon. And those lips, that's a red bell pepper. And the hair, that awesome hair, that's spinach. How cute is that? Look at this guy. Whoa, does he have a mustache? Yes, he does. His eyebrows, I think. I, I don't know what the eyebrows are. His eyes are, are hard-boiled egg cut in crosswise. His nose is a piece of ham. That's fancy ham. That's prosciutto. You can use ham or salami or whatever you have, bologna. Look at his mustache. That mustache is kale. That is so funny. Looks tickly. And his mouth is melon. Cantaloupe melon. Oh, look at this last one. Super fun. I like this one. She's wearing glasses. Her eyes are kiwi. The nose is a carrot. Look at those eyebrows. Ooh. And then the mouth is anchovies. Now anchovies are little fish and they're very, very salty. You probably wouldn't like them. These are just some ideas that you could do. You have got to get your parents permission. They are working very hard to prepare all your meals at home. So if they don't feel like they're up for food art, you have to say, okay, maybe another day. But look, at, I just used what I had at home. I didn't have anything that I saw in the magazine, but I used what I had at home. I have crackers and goat cheese and some cranberries for the eyes. And look at this guy. He's got great big giant pretzel ears. That's goofy. And I had some carrots that were cut up into small pieces. That's his crazy orange hair. Let's give him a nose. Sometimes people use hummus or a nut butter or something to stick their, their pieces of um, food onto the plate so they don't roll around like that. You could do that. I didn't. I'm just putting them on the food or putting them on the plate just to, to move them around. And I think he needs a smile. I have a cucumber. There's his cucumber smile. Hello, Mr. Orange Hair Guy. Oh, he looks good enough to eat. And now look at this one down here. Yeah, I had to go with making the glasses. Those glasses look cool. Again, I didn't have the bell pepper that they used in the other picture, but I just used these little tiny strips of carrots. I had cucumbers and cranberries. And the apple is the mouth. You know what, though? We don't even have to make this into a human face. We could make this into a kitty cat face, a cat with glasses. That is so silly. Right here is cheese. And look at the shape of the cheese. Yep, those are triangles. And we've got the Eyes or what shape? Circles, that's right. And I tried to make a shape of the glasses. Now, some glasses are really round. Let's look at this guy again. See, the glasses are really round like that. But these, I couldn't quite get the round shape, so I just went for trying to make squares. And then, of course, the cat mouth. It always comes up from the nose and goes out like that. So these are just some silly, 
summary things you can do at home for lunchtime or dinner time or maybe breakfast time. It's fun to do it with pancakes. I'm sure that maybe you all do this at home already because it is super fun to make food art and then you get to eat it. All right, have fun. Get creative, but ask mom and dad first. All right, love you all.